Hello everyone, welcome aboard. Today, we'll be discussing Arrow's Impossibility Theorem. Arrow's Impossibility Theorem is an idea that says there is no one voting system where a fair winner can be determined out of a pool of three or more candidates. It was first documented in 1951 in economist Kenneth Arrow's book, Social Choice and Individual Values. He stated that no rank order electoral system can be designed in such a way that it is always able to comply with the following criteria. Always chooses a winner, is not a dictatorship, fulfills the Condorcet winner criterion, and fulfills the independent of a relevant alternative. The first two are self-explanatory. An obvious winner must always be chosen and the government cannot be a dictatorship. However, the next two require a bit more explanation. The Condorcet winner criterion states that if one candidate can beat every other in a one-on-one -on -one competition, they are chosen as the winner. Think of any kind of double elimination tournament. Everyone will face each other in the bracket, barring those who get eliminated, and they must best one another to move on. The winner is the person who makes it to grand finals and either seizes victory from winner's side or resets the bracket on the loser's side. The independent of a relevant alternative states that you cannot turn a candidate from a loser into a winner by manipulating ballot rankings of other choices. Using the double elimination tournament analogy from before, you cannot be moved from loser's side to winner's side unless it is, of course, grand finals. Now, I will show you how to prove Arrow's impossibility paradox. Suppose we have created a voting system that fulfills three out of four of our criteria, which will be numbers two, three, and four. We will prove that it does not satisfy number one. Imagine the following ranked ballots. As you can see here, A will beat B, C will beat A, and B will beat C there is no Condorcet winner. Now examine this ballot. We manipulated the results from election 1 to make C the Condorcet winner. We cannot change the results for A in any way in the second election so as to comply with the independent of a relevant alternative. This shows that, while complying with 3 out of 4 of our criteria, there is no definite winner. As no winner is able to be chosen, this imaginary system proves the truth of the theorem. Thank you for watching, and I hope I was able to clear up some misconceptions you may have had about the Arrow's Impossibility Theorem.